One of the top questions I'm being asked during this Google update is what is happening with our parasite pages? LinkedIn, Reddit, Medium, all of those. Now, let's not forget this was a very nuanced Google update where they said there's going to be two months before the parasites are actually targeted. Personally, I think that's just fear mongering. We'll see. But of course, I'm keeping a close eye on all my parasite stuff so far. Before we go any further, don't forget to go to seojesus.com, click on the Ranking Revelations newsletter, and I'll send you my latest and best insights including an extensive welcome email full of free resources for you. If you do have a budget, we have our done for you service as well at the apply button, but we do recommend a minimum budget of around $2,000 per month. And you really do need a long-term perspective. So we're talking six to 12 months there, but that's consistently rewarded clients with fantastic results using our tried and tested methodology. If you're not ready for done for you yet, just scroll to the bottom and my mastermind membership, the disciples will be launching very soon, including its own wealth of resources. Now back to LinkedIn. One of my main LinkedIn case studies has taken a massive dive. However, I should caution there's a conflicting factor here that Google has specifically said they're going after expired domains with this update. Although Google's been claiming to try and do something about expired domains for a long time. These changes to expired domains are very difficult to actually enforce. For instance, teslamotors.com became Tesla. That's a popular one I like to talk about. But this is an even better example. Wise.com today is now the fintech company that form was formerly known as TransferWise. But back in 2006, Wise.com was this software product by Altiris. So domain names change and change purposes. There's nothing wrong with that. However, we know Google's cracking down on using expired domain names for manipulative purposes. So that might well be what's going on here, where we can see my LinkedIn parasite page where I redirected this expired domain has gone from a peak of 10,000 visitors per month down to just 2,800 visitors per month. But it does look like half of that fall actually came before the update. Like I say, LinkedIn is quite volatile. Certain niches is literally about recency. Who can publish the most recent post? So that's why I've been working with expired domains to try and see if just sheer authority will try and maintain that competitive advantage and stop newer entrants from overtaking me. But so far, it looks like from the beginning of March, something has been going on. So whether that was an earlier rollout of the update, which seems unlikely, or was this page already going to fall regardless of the update? We're not too sure. So what about LinkedIn if we exclude the factor of expired domain redirects? So one of my primary case studies I'm keeping an eye on here is my cannabis SEO page. That's been ranking pretty well for a number of months now. And even today, it's still at number three. Let's check that again in incognito. And it's still number three in incognito. So I'd say the value with LinkedIn really does seem to be going niche, where you're less likely to be overtaken. If you're going after a big affiliate keyword, it does seem like everyone's just going to be competing for that all the time. So you can get massive traffic, but you've got to accept it's only going to be for a short amount of time. And indeed, if I keep going through my other LinkedIn parasite tests, most of them are still ranking very well. In fact, a lot of them are actually improving in ranking. Personal injury lawyer SEO, I'm at number 14. I'm number nine for CTR manipulation. So if we have a look at the overall trend of my LinkedIn posts, there doesn't seem to be any major movement as a result of the update. Not forgetting I haven't really touched this for a while. So I think this is just natural decay from the pages aging. Whereas earlier on, I was happening out loads of case studies, particularly targeting high volume. Whereas now I'm looking more at the long-term trend. However, it's a slightly worrying trend where if I just put in LinkedIn Pulse overall, and we want to focus in this case on affiliate articles, because obviously they're going to be the most targeted, and we want the keyword to contain the phrase review or reviews. And what we see is that although the traffic hasn't really changed, the number of index pages has changed massively. So we can see before the update, there were 35,836 organic pages, and that's dropped down to 26,663 organic pages. So what this basically tells us is a load of LinkedIn parasite pages have just been wiped off the face of Google, but without massively impacting traffic. Traffic only declined slightly, although arguably if you look at the overall trend we were seeing, then that graph should probably have been up here had that trend continued. So it does seem like there's been a bit of an impact. If we go to top pages, we might be able to get an idea of what exactly dropped off. So the peak was the fifth, bottom of the drop was the eighth. So let's compare custom dates from the fifth. If we look at Reddit as well, it seems to be the same thing happening where if we put the phrase review in the keywords we're monitoring, then although traffic has increased, we see this massive drop in organic pages. So in this case, from almost 600,000 organic pages down to just 400. So nearly a 30% drop in index pages, but the distribution of that impact seems to be really biased. So I'm now looking at best keywords and we can see that for best credit card, yes, it's lost 30% of its keywords. So the total quantity of its keywords but its traffic has actually increased nearly 4,000%. So we can see just three days ago, update, it's now the 12th of March. So on the 9th of March, this page moved up to number six for 
Best Buy credit card, 1.1 million searches per month. Loads of really good keywords coming up. And that seems to be the same across the board where we're seeing lots of keywords dropping off. So the overall total volume of keywords dropping significantly, but the keywords that are still ranking are ranking much higher and delivering much more traffic. So this definitely does feel like some sort of on-page filtering where somehow Google is figuring out what it deems to be low value pages and completely removing them. Whereas those that remain, those that survive, that Google decides to rate as being valuable and helpful, they're being pushed higher up. So here I'm just comparing the eighth with the fifth. And for the pages that are still ranking, we're seeing massive traffic boosts. So what I want to now identify is who has suffered the most and why. So what I've done here is I've flipped the order to see the biggest negative change in traffic. And of course that brought lots of low volume queries. So I put in a minimum traffic of 500 per month. And it just so happened one of the top ones, Best Air Fryer, which has now lost 95% of its traffic. It just so happened that when I opened it, it says it's been removed by moderators and everyone down here is complaining about spam bots. Saying don't put links in your posts, the spam bot removes them. 108 upvotes for a 20 hour old comment for a two month old thread to an account that has a very unique comment history. I think I'll avoid that product line. But if I look at this headphone post, which has lost 80% of its traffic, this seems like a perfectly legitimate post. Recently purchased these. Does anybody have recommendations? And this thread has not been spammed to death. It all seems pretty good. So much more analysis required. I need to basically export this whole list and go through. What's the major differentiators between the winners and the losers in this case? Because some Reddit threads have gone up massively and a whole load of Reddit threads have disappeared entirely. If we look at Medium, the, the same story, but even more pronounced. So we see this massive uptick in traffic from 100,000. This is using review keywords. So from 100,000 right up to 164,000. But index pages in Ahrefs, 76,626 down to 55,000. So same again. Total pages showing on Google comes down by about 30%, but for the remaining pages, the traffic goes up significantly. So how is Google deciding this? It seems very much kill or cure. Either you're gone from results, but if you're still on results, then you get a load more traffic. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you've got any questions. I'm keen to figure this out. What is this magic formula that's meaning some parasite pages are sticking around and being massively rewarded while others are being completely destroyed?